Are we, are we, yeah. are we rolling? Hey guys, doing things a little different today. So we're doing the lab on uh, specific heat capacity and uh, I'm gonna get the data. Actually, uh, Steven's gonna get the data. James is helping doing the video and I'm gonna first give my little five minute spiel to talk about what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna, we've already taken the data, so I'm gonna give you that data and then Stephen's gonna show you how we actually, what the process was. So specific heat, we use uh, Q4 heat. Of course, heat is a form of temperature. Uh, and so we have conservation of energy here. Uh, we got a styrofoam cup, so we're not losing uh, very much heat to the outside. And so the styrofoam cup is full of water. Uh, whatever temperature, whatever heat that the metal that's in the water loses, then the water is picking up. So that's what this equation says, that the energy lost by the metal is equal to the energy gained by the water. So there's going to be a change in temperature both. Since the uh, metal is losing energy, its temperature is going to go down. Uh, since the water is gaining energy, its temperature is going to go up. And that heat is equal to the mass of whichever substance we're talking about times that substance's specific heat times the change in temperature. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do three different metals uh, and you're gonna calculate the specific heat capacity of each and then compare it to the accepted value. You, you'll have to look those up on, uh, on the internet. Now, one of the metals I'm using is steel. And I know I've done this before looking that up. There's about 14 different kinds of steel, I think. So uh, just use regular, I think this is probably, uh, it's, it might, yeah, just use regular carbon steel, that'll be fine. Uh, there is a little bit of difference between the various steels. But anyway, so we're gonna start, or we started with brass. We had a mass of 209.7 grams. Uh, the water in the uh, styrofoam cup for that particular one was 192 and a half grams. The initial temperature of the water was 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, the initial temperature of the brass, we put it in water that was almost boiling, so it was 91 degrees Celsius. Once we put the brass into the styrofoam cup, uh, the water in the cup went up to 26.2 degrees. So they should have reached equilibrium. The brass and the water would both be 26.2 degrees for this final temperature. So they each should have that. So this, what this heat equation is going to look like is going to be the change, the uh, energy that the water gained is equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat of water times T final minus T initial of the water. So this is all subscript water here. And of course the heat lost by the metal is going to be the specific heat of the metal. I'm sorry, the mass of the metal times the specific heat of the metal times the, uh, and the initial temperature of the metal is higher so make all of your quantities positive. So make sure this difference is going to be positive. All right, so the way we found the mass of the water, of course, we start with the empty cup, and then this was the final mass. Okay, is this part of the board still on the, okay. Uh, the next one was aluminum. The aluminum was 66 and a half grams. The mass of the water for that one was 202.7 grams. The initial temperature of the water was 20.9 degrees. Uh, the initial temperature of the aluminum was 89 and a half, and then when they came to equilibrium, it was 25 degrees. And then finally, the steel, initial mass, I mean, the mass of the steel was 268.9. The mass of the water, we were able to use less water because this, the, the aluminum and the brass were those cylinders we used last week. They're fairly tall. The uh, steel was some washers that we have, and uh, they're fairly short, so we didn't need to put as much water in the cup. So we only had 110.4 grams of water. Uh, again, the initial temperature of the water was 21 degrees. The initial temperature of the steel was 94 and a half. Uh, and the final temperature was 34.2. And you can see we got a pretty good increase here compared to the others because we had a lot less water, uh, more steel, uh, and also a slightly higher temperature on the steel. So the final temperature here was 34.2 degrees. So James is now gonna take the, the camera move around and Steven's going to show the process that we went through in uh, obtaining this data. Are you going to talk? I can. Okay. Ready? 
All right, so here we have a hot water bath that has the metal in it so that it gets the temperature of the metal up to the temperatures written on the board. And so we take the metal and transfer it, removing some of the water that's on it so that it doesn't affect the temperature of the water in the cup. And then we place it in here. And this device records the temperature as it increases whenever the metal gets added to it. And then once it stops going up, we record the temperature and stir the water a little bit to distribute the temperature evenly. And that's pretty much it. So you guys do the analysis. What you're gonna do is calculate the specific heat and the, uh, the lab says to do one of them completely, show all the steps in calculating that. And then for the other two metals, just calculate the specific heat and compare it to the value you find on the internet. So uh, new way of doing labs. Uh, I kind of like it, but uh, we'll see how it works out, see how James likes it. So work in your groups, uh, use Google Docs to uh, share the information with your partners and, and, and then send that to James or send the link or I don't know how Google Docs works. So anyway, you guys know that stuff. Um, and we're gonna do another one on electricity here pretty shortly. Uh, Frankly, I'd like to get both of those within a couple of weeks, so rather than trying to extend this out. Um, you know, let's get this done. Uh, we got, we've got three more to do after this one today. So uh, we'll try to get them all done within the next couple of days. And that way you guys will have something to work on while you're on vacation. So anyway, thank you. And I'm uh, gonna see you guys uh, on the Zoom chat uh, on Thursday. <laughs>